Hey guys, what's going on? So today, what I thought I'd show you is um, a couple of months ago, I did a photo shoot for a little boy, a two year old, and it was uh, Toy Story themed. And we got him a, a woody outfit and dressed him up. And we wanted to do little uh, scenes where he'd look like a little toy, where he was like smaller than the actual size he is, um, stuff like that. So have a look at this picture that I took. Now that picture was taken at his house um, and I used a, a green background, a green screen. And um, actually this is what the picture originally looked like when I took it. It's crazy, isn't it? Now I've got a green background and it is sat on a footstool and the footstool has got a green sheet over it as well. And what we did is we gave him one of his own balls that was roughly the right size that I wanted the uh, Pixar ball to be in his hands. And we gave him that and he kept chucking it back and stuff like that. So we gave it him and quickly took a picture and it worked out all right. Um, as you can see on the picture underneath, we had a um, flooring dark wood laminate flooring that I, I bought just just one pack um, cheap from a DIY store and all I did is I just clipped that together and put it underneath just to give us a base and then yeah it went from there so we took the picture and now we're going to jump into Photoshop and we're going to show you how I edited the picture from start to finish so let's go over to the computer now so there guys, uh, we're in Photoshop now and this is the base picture I started with and uh, you see there's a green screen and um, we've given the ball to hold. Um, I took the picture a bit too early so we've got an arm in here but we'll, we'll sort that out in a minute. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So. I'm going to duplicate this layer to start with, it's always good, just in case you want to go back. And I'm going to jump into uh, filter and camera roll to start with. I always like to get the uh, subject coloured kind of right to start with, just to get it more easy. Um, so I'm just going to focus on him and just ignore the rest of it in a minute. I like to turn up the vibrance of it. Seeing as this is going to be a Toy Story and I want it to look a bit like a toy, I want a lot of colour, but not too much. Um, then I'm going to sort out white balance. I think it's a bit too yellow. Yeah. Sometimes I like to use the eyedropper on something white just to see if it works. Something like that's all right. I'm just going to sharpen them up a bit. Not too much. Maybe a bit of luminance just to get the green out. Right, that's good. Um, now I'm going to bring up some of the shadows. Um, just to flatten it a little bit in the highlights down because I think flash was a bit too bright. I'm going to do the white points by holding Alt and clicking. I'm just going to bring it up until we see some white come in. Same with the black. Black's not too bad actually. So that is the before and after. That's not too bad. So we're going to click OK on that. Now the next job is to cut him out and get rid of the, the background. I use green but you don't have to use green, um, white would do. Um, if I do it again I would probably use white because you might see some uh, green light spill bouncing around his hair and that which I could have done with avoiding. So 
Yeah, let's take the uh, quick selection tool and we'll just select around. Shall we get everything? His hand, his feet. everything. Then we're going to click on the mask button down at the bottom and we'll hide the background layer for a minute. So right clicking on the mask uh, we're going to go to refine mask edge and this will make the background white. But we're just going to, in fact just so you can see it a bit better. Just gonna zoom in a bit. I'm just gonna feather the edges up a little bit and then I might move them in just to get rid of some of that green. You could spend a lot of time on this, but I'm just going to do it just like that, which we should do for now. Press OK and that will go back. So I've got the background there. So next, I'm going to duplicate the background layer again. And bring that in, because I want to keep this floor. I've put them on a the floor. So it's much easier than putting one in and trying to sit him on there. This is um, just a pack of a laminate flooring I got from a hardware store and it's just nice to just put down on there and um, use that in the picture. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to select the bottom. So I'm going to take the uh, polygon lasso tool and I'm going to start on this edge select around the bottom here roughly and then we're going to press Control shift and i to invert it and press delete so now if we uncheck uh, we hide the boy for a minute and yeah his, his legs are still in there but we're going to sort that out now so now i'm going to take the uh, rectangle selection tool and I'm just going to select just past his foot and across and I'm going to press Control and T to bring up the transform tools and I'm just going to stretch this across like so and I press enter and deselect that and then I'm going to do the same for this side Control T I'm just going to drag that across and zoom out a bit just get the selection tool on that bit uh, edit fill and we're going to go to content aware and that will just fill in that gap there just based on the content around it Next I'm going to get the uh, clone stamp tool and what I'm going to do is hold control down and select a portion of the, the floor and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint over 
his legs and feet. I might select another piece from over here. And just by getting it looking even, and get rid of these shadows down here. And that should be alright. I know it's a bit rough around here, but we're going to sort that out in a sec. So that's the floor. So we've got the floor, and we have him. So next, I've got a few pictures um, that I've downloaded. Um, this is a good picture of the uh, Andy's room uh, wallpaper of the clouds which I'm going to use as a background, so we're going to bring that in, drop it in, and we're just going to move it into position, press enter, actually it needs to be a bit higher, and we're going to put this above the ground layer that we've just created. I'm going to get the square selection tool and we're just going to select from the bottom up up to this skirting board maybe just a little bit higher so we get rid of that orange wooden floor I'm just going to delete that now what we can do is once we've deselected that, we can move the floor up to where we want it. I, mean, I think around just below middle this is, oh, is good. So I'll leave it there. So that's our background sorted. Now I can bring in a little boy now. Now he's looking a bit big, so what I'm going to do is press Ctrl T on him. And I'm going to just hold in the corner of the picture and hold in shift, shift down. Because if we don't hold shift down, we'll distort him and that's not what we want. So we'll hold shift down to keep it uniformed and just drag him down to a reasonable size I think around about there might do it and press enter and I'm just going to place him just off off a center looks nice to me so now we want to get rid of this ball um, and I wanted to use the Pixar ball that I've got here which would be nice um, so we're going to bring that in and I'm going to put that on a new layer for now. So we need to get away from the background so there's a few ways we can try. Um, there's a magic wand tool where you can select the background which is not done actually a bad job other than this uh, shadows at the bottom. So I'm going to deselect that and try the quick selection tool. Let's see if this does a better job. So I so got that. I'm going to press the mask button to take the background out. I'm just going to right click the mask and refine edge. I'm just going to feather it so it's not so harsh. Should be enough. And press OK. Now we're going to drag that back into our picture and drop it on there. Let's zoom in. 
bring the ball over. Now I want the ball to be the other way around, so what I'm going to do is press Ctrl T. I'm just going to spin that round to about there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press Hold Shift and Alt together while dragging the corner, and it should make the ball bigger. I'm just going to put it into place and what you can do is bring the opacity down a bit so you can see where the other ball is and we'll just sort of move it into a position I think that's quite good and bring the opacity back up Now the problem is his hands are behind the ball so we need to bring them forward so what I'm going to do is going to get the original layer of him and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to bring that above the ball and now I'm going to get the rectangle selection tool I'm just going to roughly select around his hand if you hold down the, the shift key you can select multiple selections so I'm going to do the other hand as well I'm going to press Control, shift and I to invert it and then press delete and if we hide the original you can see it's just two hands so now I'm going to zoom into this hand right so on the polygon lasso tool I'm just going to draw around his hands and his fingers selection around the edge and then we're just going to press Control shift and I to invert it and then press delete so with the other hand we're going to do the same thing just going to draw around his fingers and just a rough selection around the edge invert it and press delete so now I have both hands and that are on top of the ball and there's a bit still there so I might actually just move the ball over a bit to cover that up and you might want to get rid of this little ring that was on the original ball but I'm just going to leave it for now because this is just a tutorial so now it has his ball and he's uh, sitting in midair so because he's a toy and he's small I'm going to fit him onto a little wooden block which I have already cut out um, and it's nice to get one that's sort of the right angle you cannot like change the perspective of it if you wanted to but it's easier just to get one that's the right angle and um, we're going to dra drag that in place that on and we're going to put that below everything and above the background I'm just going to drag that down underneath and you want to position it that's obviously too low that's too high so we want to just position it just so it looks right and you can actually hold down control just to do a free move sometimes it, it snaps like that so if you hold control down you'll get free control of it and I think about there's good so next I just want to brighten up the box because it looks a bit dull and 
um, I want to just bring some more vibrance into this. So what I'm going to do, select the layer, and I'm gonna, while holding Alt down, I'm going to press this half circle down here. I'm just going to bring up all my um, settings and effects and stuff. I'm just going to go to Hue and Saturation. Check this box, create clipping max, use previous layer, and that will allow you to just change that one layer. So I'm just gonna bring the saturation up just a bit, maybe the lightness, just to give it a bit of vibrant in there. And that's basically it, but problem with this is now it looks a bit flat it still looks like he's floating so what I'd like to do is create some shadows so underneath the main picture of the boy underneath I want to create a layer so I'm gonna click the layer underneath and I'm gonna press new layer button and that will create one underneath the picture of the boy. Now selecting that layer, what I want is a black color and my brush tool. Now I'm gonna bring the opacity down to about 25 to start with. And I want my brush to be soft. And what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to brush half and half on his legs and feet. Actually, I might bring the opacity up a bit, maybe to 40. I'm just going to brush around his feet and under the ball down the other leg. And just a just a bit around the other side. Just like that. Now with that layer selected we're gonna just turn the opacity down a bit just to a nice, soft shadow. That looks good to me. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create another layer on top of that. And I'm gonna do the same, but I'm gonna bring the opacity up again, up to about maybe 60. And I'm just gonna go underneath his feet, but a little bit more tighter I bring that opacity up a bit more maybe 70, 72 I'm just going to do a, a darker edge Shadows tend to come in different shades and different thicknesses when they get closer to the subjects and stuff. So it's always good to have a, a thicker line just around. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn the opacity down on that. So now we've got a thick line and then spread and I might actually turn that spread down a bit more like so now moving on to the ball the ball wants the same treatment so we're going to create a layer underneath the ball and we're going to do the same and what we can do is
of it. So you can see it's a shadow on his legs. And we're going to do it on the box as well. So we're going to select the box, create a layer underneath the box, get the uh, brush tool, and we're just going to go around the edge of the box, just underneath it. down just a bit maybe down to 90 and we're going to make another layer just underneath the box and we're going to bring the opacity of the brush down to 40 again and make a brush a bit bigger and we're just going to brush around a bit further out around the foot and then we're just going to bring the opacity of that down to what looks good about 30, 35 40, 45 maybe that looks alright to me So next we want to do, uh, we want to sort this ball out because to me the ball looks like the shadows are in the wrong position, the highlight is down here and it should be up here. So I'm going to um, do a little bit different on here, I like to use, go to filter, I go to camera raw filter. Now we'll just bring the ball up and its original background and nothing else, which is can be hard to work with, but I'm just gonna zoom into the ball and I'm just gonna bring the shadows up a bit so it flattens it out a bit and maybe the highlights down and then I'm gonna bring the exposure down. bring up the exposure and I'm just going to put a bit of a hot spot around the top bit where I want the, the highlights to be and I'm just going to bring that up a bit like so and I'm just going to go back and then adjust I might even do another brush at the bottom just to bring that shadow down there instead. So from having the shadow at the top, now we're at the bottom. Press OK. And the ball looks a bit better, it looks more in place. So now I want to do is just create a bit of shadow around the ball um, and under his hands. So what I like to do is create a new layer on top of the layer we want to edit. Go to edit, fill. And then with that layer we want to right click it and create clipping mask and it will use the layer below as the mask which is the ball. And then we want to go to layer, layer mask and hide and that will create a new 
it will hide the uh, mask we just created. Now using a white brush we can then start painting on wherever you want. So what we're going to do is going to paint around this edge and paint under his hands like that. bottom like so and then we're just gonna use our opacity to bring that down like that that looks good so now you can see we it was less flat in his hand we might even want to bring that down a bit more See that ball's got a bit of depth to it now. So now he's looking a bit flat against this background and I want to create a bit of a shadow around here. So we're going to do what we did before is select the layer underneath the layer that we want to create a shadow on and press new layer which will create a new layer underneath the picture of the boy and we just want to get a black brush and I'm going to bring it I'll keep it at 40 make sure it's soft and I'm going to have a quite big brush and I'm just going to brush around him on the right side and around the block skirt in there. Now I'm going to bring actually bring that layer down below the block as well. So the block comes in. And I'm just going to bring the opacity down on that. I just want a little tiny shadow. Nothing a lot, just a tiny bit. So you just got that little bit of a dark shadow behind him just to take him away from the wall. That looks good. Now the same that we did with the ball where we created a shadow to give it a bit of depth. I want to do that to him as well. So just around this edge because it looks a bit flat. So we're going to go up to the picture of him and we're going to create a new layer above it. And go to edit fill black and we're going to right click the layer and click on create clipping mask and that'll sort of make a silhouette of it then we're going to we're going to go to layer layer mask and hide and then same again with the ball we're going to get a white brush we're just going to brush just around the edge his clothes and his hair and his maybe his not his legs we'll just leave his legs for now and we'll just around around the top here maybe just under here down on that just so we've got just subtle shadow and, uh, softens the edge as well that looks good to me that's with that that's with it so we've done all the shadows um, if I turn all the shadows off difference it makes once we bring them all back in so that's pretty much it so he looks now he looks like he's sat on the box he's got the ball and we've gone from 
them from this. To that. And now what I do like to do is click on the top layer and right click it merge visible while holding alt down we'll create a new layer on top with all these layers merged together and I'm going to go to filter camera roll I'm just going to enhance the picture a little bit so I'm going to bring some vibrance in and maybe brighten it up a tiny bit and do the white point and the black point Move to the colors and the saturation of let's go to the luminance of the oranges. I like using orange luminance because it, it affects skin colors a bit, so we can bring that up and what we might do is Again, okay, adjustment brush, bring the exposure up a tiny bit, just brush on this floor. Just to bring that up a bit. So it doesn't look so dark. And then we might go to the colours again. The saturation of the blues just to bring that background out and I might bring down the highlights a little bit just because his uh, face looks a bit um, overexposed and I might play around with the temperature And then what I like to do to finish off it is go to the effects panel and just bring down the uh, vignette in and that just sort of gives it a bit of a, some depth to the picture. for that and press OK and there we go and you can see the difference that camera raw can do to a picture that's without and that's with it and now what I did on the original picture is I just brought in the um, Toy Story logo so I've got one here Reduce the size of that. And maybe put it on an angle a little bit. Put that back there. And there you go. That's it, that's basically it. It's a bit complicated, it was long and that, but um, you get the idea and you can sort of interpret it in your own pictures now, how to do shadows and how to take the background out and put things in their hands and the way to do it. Um, yeah, and it was a really fun photo shoot. Um, so if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, um, comment at the bottom, see, tell me what you thought and that, and like, and, I'll see you next time. Next week is the photography show in Birmingham. And on the Saturday, I'm going down to have a look around, see if there's out I want, 
um, see if I can get any tips from people. It's going to be it's going to be a great day. I went last year, and it was fantastic. I do recommend it. So yeah, if you're down there, I'll see you down there, and I'll be doing a video down there. So yeah, next week photography show. See you later.